It was all hands on deck at the York Minster this morning as over 100 women came together to create kits to send to developing nations for young women. Now working on the issue of menstruating women in these areas having to miss up to six days of school a month, the York Kits project used a large workshop to make the eco-friendly pads ready to be shipped off to communities in Africa and Asia. And its creator is Izzy Sanderson and she talked about this and their theme of Champions of Change. We make washable, reusable feminine hygiene kits which are sent to girls all over the world to keep them in education uh, because many girls can't go to school during menstruation because they don't have feminine hygiene uh, provision. So we make here washable, reusable kits and today we have a workshop in York Minster where hundreds of women come together to help us to make those. And we, we're very lucky that in Rotary York Ainsty we have uh, Priscilla, who's one of our newest uh, members, who's from Malawi, uh, in York doing a postgraduate uh, course at the university. And uh, Martin, who will be our next uh, president of Rotary York Ainsty. And we're going to be working together to set up a York Hits project in Malawi. And Martin from the Rosary Club explained their links as well as Izzy's upcoming award for their work and introduced a very special new member to the Rotary and York Hits group. Rotary York Ainsley are part of Rotary International, a wide-ranging charitable organisation and we're very pleased to have as part of our uh, club uh, York Kits, which we've supported for several years now and continue to support. That's uh, an important uh, international charity whereby we uh, are now striving uh, to not only supply the kits that Izzy's explained, but also to make uh, uh, the uh, uh, recipients of them self-sufficient so that they can start producing their own. And we're very pleased that Izzy has been recently awarded uh, that particular accolade and will be receiving it at an international conference in Birmingham in May. Uh, we're anxious also to expand uh, and uh, we have a recently new member of our uh, 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 club uh, uh, who is uh, uh, from Malawi and who is uh, uh, going to assist us in that regard. The Rotary Club of uh, Miokainsti will be linking up with the Rotary Club of Lilongwe, which I've transferred from, from Malawi. And what we're very excited about this project is that it's, um, it's self-sustaining, which means that um, once uh, the girls in, in Malawi have been introduced to your kids, they'll be able to make their own pads which they can um, use themselves so they'll not always have to rely on some external um, funding to be able to continue this. Once they have been, the skills have been imparted on the girls, they'll be able to make their own pads and they could also use this to also sell and to make some money for themselves. And we also heard from a number of volunteers and organisations getting involved on the morning. We're involved with the York Kits project because we are an organisation that um, help worthy causes, making things, uh, sewing and knitting and all sorts of other things. We have lots of other projects too, but we're very much involved with what York Kits do and very, very supportive. York Kits was one of the first projects that uh, we started when we set up four years ago and it's one of the organisations that the team that we have sewn for us really wanted to support. Um, I'm here today really because um, 12 years ago I went to Kenya and, and ended up quite unexpectedly starting up a charity helping schools and discovered after six years that lack of sanitary protection was a big problem. And when I came back I met Izzy and learnt about the uh, kits and so uh, ever since then we have been, I've been involved in this large group but also in a smaller group that makes kits to physically take to school girls in Kenya. Um, I got involved with York Kids about five years ago. Um, I travel out to India working with a street charity and um, York Kids have been amazing because I take the kits that we make out and Izzy has given me cheques for £100 twice now to get sewing machines. So the, the, the packs go out to the um, girls and then it motivates them to make them in the community centres. And with Izzy set to receive her award later this year, it's clear that the hard work of workshops like these are being recognised in helping a global problem for women. Roy Ward, that's TV.